we, uh, we settled, a, well, it wasn't even a case. We settled a situation uh, a few months ago on behalf of a transgender girl in Florida who wanted to play soccer on her girl's soccer team. She's eight years old, and her parents totally supported her gender transition. Uh, she has been living and appearing as and being a girl for about four years now. And they wouldn't let her play on the girls' soccer team because the birth certificate you know, says male. So we found out, how do you get policies changed in youth soccer? Well, it turns out they have a board. The board meets in Florida. Donna Shalala's on the board. Donna Shalala, the former Health and Human Services Secretary, um, was now was then, and I think still, president of Florida State University or University of Florida, I'm sorry. University of Miami. I knew I was going to get it wrong. University of Miami. We knew somebody who knew Donna Shalala. We got this in front of her. We proposed an amendment to new soccer rules. Our sports project director went down and met with the entire board and presented them with this policy. We talked about the science. We talked about, you know, the... For, for anybody, for any kids who haven't yet gone through pu puberty, there's no difference whatsoever. There's no competitive advantage. Either one it doesn't matter. And we talked about the importance of this children being able to play authentically to their gender. In a weekend, they changed their policy, and the girl is now playing on her girls' soccer team and is having a total blast. And no one cares. None of the other girls care. Most of the other parents are even fine with it. It's been incredible. So a lot of youth in transgender So it's been great. And then, you know, Brittany Griner came out. We knew she was going to do that. She was itching to come out, but she was told by her Baylor coach that she could not come out until she was done with playing. And now, but now she will, it will be going. She's the first openly lesbian athlete going in to the WNBA. And then, of course, Jason Collins. I think we're going to see a sea change in athletics, in professional athletics, and I'm a big sports fan. I don't know if any, how many people here are. Sports has so much influence on popular culture and notions of what real men are and notions of what girls should and shouldn't do. If we can break that open, it's going to be amazing.